at some point during the year you have made as much as $118,000, you no longer have those deductions taken out for Social Security. Um, and uh, I've been an advocate of raising that cap for a long time. In fact, uh, uh, I'm the co-sponsor of a bill called Social Security 2100, and what that does is that it doesn't raise the cap. It, it keeps the cap at about 118,000, but once that, that worker uh, gets above 400,000, then they have to start contributing again up to an unlimited amount. And, and this bill has been scored and it would extend the life of uh, Social Security by 75 years. Uh, and allow them to uh, give out better increases if you know anybody who's been surviving on Social Security uh, old age benefits, nobody's getting rich on that. It's an average payout of about $1,305 a month. Uh, right. Uh, uh, if, for anybody to stand up and with a straight face say that that's too much money to be, to be giving out, uh, uh, nobody's going to say that. So uh, the question is, there, is there any effort to end the cap? There is an effort, and the effort is called Social Security 2100. Um, it has about 75 co-sponsors, but right now I think they're all Democrats. So, so that's, a, that's, a, you know, that's a political problem. You know, I, I actually, the ethics rules pr prohibit me from encouraging you to write to other members of Congress. <laughs> I'm not answering that question. <laughs>